everyone, welcome back to my channel. Brenda Summers here, Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. Today I'm doing trash talk with my Sensi empties, the products that I got through in the last month or so. I think it's been a couple of months. So anyways, um, I've been melting, but I haven't been melting. I've been using products up. So without further ado, let's deep dive into this trash talk and the empties from Scentsy. So I'm not going over um, scent notes. That'll take way too long, but I'll tell you the products that I got through. Some of these products I started like a few months ago, so it's not like I went through them in a month or so. They last quite a, a long time. So the first thing that I got through was a Johnny Appleseed dish soap. This I really, really enjoy. They don't make the dish soap anymore. Well, they do, but it comes out in limited time offers now. This is a really, really nice scent. It's apples, Macintosh apples, sweet pear, nectar. Um, can't go wrong with this. This was nice to use. It was concentrated. Um, you know, just needed a little bit and it's sudsed up. So Johnny Appleseed is a great one. Just soap is a great one. So they took it away from their product line and the only way you can get dish soaps now is if they um, curate limited time offer bundles. So um, the next time that they have a limited time offer, grab a dish soap if they have it available. Um, it's, it's a very nice um, product. I didn't like it at first because it didn't suds up or bubble, but I ended up growing to love the dish soap. But anyways, um, I went through one of those. So highly recommend their dish soap. Next was um, bathroom cleaners, um, the counter cleaners. So the bathroom cleaner that I got through was a Johnny Appleseed. I really, really love their bathroom cleaners. Um, they foam up, they're sudsy. And then I got through a Fiesta Lime. I really, really love that. So if you like Macintosh apples, pears, um, crisp apple peel, you love a Johnny Appleseed. It was nice. Um, I use this in my shower and around the toilet. And then same with this Fiesta Lime. It was like lime and lemon and something else. Really, really good. So bathroom cleaners you can still get. So in different um, scents, Fiesta Lime was a limited time offer um, product. They only had it for a limited time time. And then Johnny Appleseed, I'm not sure if they still have it or not, but um, that's the way to go, especially in the fall time. I really love the Johnny Appleseed bathroom cleaner. And then in the spring and summertime, it, Fiesta Lime was just right up my alley with the citrusy very very nice and then counter clean i love the counter cleans and of course fiesta lime counter clean i went through two of those um i usually have one downstairs and one up here very very nice you can spray it i sprayed it on my stove top i have like a glass stove top that i use it on shines it up counters it leaves like a film um, so when you go to wipe it the next time dirt doesn't build up um, you can use it for sneakers for anything that you can think of very nice product so they still have counter cleans so if you get a chance to try their counter clean please do so I went through two Fiesta Lime um, counter cleans so Fiesta Lime is no more but if you ever get a chance to try Fiesta Lime it's a really really good scent I really enjoyed it um, some people didn't because it was citrusy, lemon, lime, that type of thing, but I love that. Um, another couple of products that I got through, and it took me forever to get through these, were the room sprays. They've changed up the room sprays now. Uh, it's water-based as opposed to oil-based. So I went through a magnolia linen. This took a, a year or more to go through. And then Newborn Nursery was Powder Baby Fresh. Magnolia Linen is like Magnolia's um, linen, um, linen smell. 
very very nice like a laundry smell very nice very strong wham bam in your face and then if you love um, powdery scents newborn nursery so this took me about a year year and a half to go through two of those and now um Chelsea has the new formula of oil um, they went from oil based to water based um, the oil base you really had to um, watch it on furniture on clothing on things because it would damage things maybe the oil base I haven't tried it um, doesn't damage anything so I don't know you tell me have you tried the new um, room sprays or fragrance mist from Scentsy um, the new water based ones I haven't yet so and then the wax that I got through and this is just the full bars that I got through um, I'm still working on bars that are partials I didn't bother bringing those up so first one was coconut palm this was really nice it was from a bring back my bar um, if you like coconut scents you would like this it was like coconut um, dewy greens and something else very very nice very coconutty i really enjoyed it um i enjoy coconut scents especially around the spring summertime so very tropical so went through a whole bar of that um so if you ever get a chance if it, they ever bring this back and you know, i bring back my bar i highly recommend uh, that lasted a couple days in my warmers i guess i went through two of them so here's another coconut palm Another one that I got through was Ocean Air and Coconut Water. Really, really nice. I really like this. It was obviously coconut. It was a bit fresher um, as opposed to the other Coconut Palm, which was a little bit deeper and heavier. This um, had like the waft of air um, freshness to it, plus the coconut. So very, very nice. So um, if you get a chance to try this, it's ocean air and coconut water. Very nice for the spring summer. Um, another one that I got through was Mediterranean Spa. This was a love hate kind of a scent for me. Um, some days I couldn't stand it in my warmers, and other days I loved it. It's like a fresh aquatic spa type scent. Very heavy. Um, some days it made me sick, other days it didn't, so I got through a whole bar of that. That took me a while. Another one that I got what got through was um, Disney Snow White Kind Heart. Um, this was okay. Um, would I purchase it again? No, because it really smells really weird. Um, it was very light in my warmers, kind of like a florally kind of smell. Now it smells rancid and so um not a not one of my favorites it was just okay it wasn't their normal florally kind of disney kind of scent i it was a little bit heavier so i didn't like it um i went through some scent inspirations mango margarita now this was a love hate um, relationship with this collection some days you could smell it in my um, warmers and other days you couldn't um, very very light I like the mango the margarita was really nice so um, like I said very light but I really liked it um, this was another scent inspirations go go mango now this didn't smell like the normal go go mango that I was used to when I first joined um, Scentsy it had that mango scent but it was very very light um, I forget what Go Go Mango has in it, but it's a tropically mango melon kind of scent for the spring summer. Very light. So I warm these um, ones, the lighter ones in my bathroom because you couldn't smell them otherwise. By the Sea is my go to. It's wham bam in your face type scent. It lasts a long time. Um, dewy green, um, ocean breeze ocean waters and dewy greens very fresh very aquatic this uh, makes me happy when i melt it so um, you can put it in a large warmer and you can smell it around the house so i really really like that one that's one of my favorite ones by sensi another one was flower shop this was a love-hate relationship 
It was from Bring Back My Bar. I threw it in a corner. I didn't like it at first. And then as I started melting it, um, I really, really liked it. It's floral, but it has the greens from the floral stems. But um, as I warmed it more and more, I really enjoyed it. So you put it out in um, a normal large warmer and you could smell it or you could put it in your bathroom. I melted it in the bathroom only because I wanted that kind of a scent for my bathrooms. So I really, really enjoyed it. So it's a, a recommend actually. Um, it ever comes back and bring back my bar or in a limited time offer um grab it because you may like it i didn't like it at first so lavender cotton they took it away i love this it was lavender it was cotton it was like a linen kind of scent laundry scent it was wham bam in your face it had like a powderiness to it but i love this this was one of my go-to's and then they decided to take away that one in pink cotton. They brought in Magnolia Linen and a couple other linens, uh, linen scents or laundry scents that I didn't mind, but I miss lavender cotton and pink cotton. So those were my go-to's. This Gridiron Rush was not too bad. It was like a fresh, minty, um, kind of manly kind of scent. I enjoyed it while I had it. Would I buy it again? No. To me, it's more of a manly type Vermont type scent, um, but not too bad. It was underrated. A lot of people didn't try it, but it was from their NFL collection. Mullen and Apple Grenada bring back my bar. At first, I didn't like it, and then I grew to love this. It's just pretty much melon and apple. And another thing thrown in, very light though. I warmed it in my bathroom, believe it or not. Another one that I got through was coconut cotton. Now this is a wham bam in your face. It's coconut it's cotton. It's a laundry scent. Um, kind of a powdery note, but very, um, very coconut forward. I could smell this um, throughout my house. So it's from the Bring Back My Bar. If it ever comes back, I'll um, be buying more of that because I really enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure if I have any more in my collection, but I enjoyed um, warming it this last round. Plumeria was another one that I did not like. It's from Bring Back My Bar. Um, but it's a floral. Um, I forget, it has Plumeria and sweetness i don't know the scent notes but all i know is it's, it turned out to be a very pretty floral it was a little bit um, light to medium you could put it in a large warmer um, it would um, not last as long as some of these other ones but um, still it was still a good scent after all that i have a tendency if i really don't like it on cold sniffs right off the bat just throwing my bars, I always say in a corner, but I have like a basket and I let them cure and I forget about them and then I go back to them and some of them I fall in love with and it's like, oh, okay. And others, it's like, no, no, no. Another one that I really loved was cucumber and cactus water. It's like a nice fresh spa kind of scent. You have to like cactus, you have to like cucumber, but this was really, really nice. Um, it was like a spa scent, so I warmed it in my bathroom. It was light to medium, so I enjoyed that one. Um, highly recommend if it ever comes back. Another by the sea, I love that one. So that's my go-to when I'm sick or not feeling well. It's like um, ocean air and dewy greens, really, really nice. Wesley really loves this one. I like it too, it's lemon sorbet. It's not as strong as Squeeze the Day or some of the other lemon scents that we've had out, but it's got like a creaminess to it. Um, not as tart of a um, lemon. Kind of reminds me of like lemon pie or a lemon dessert. So very, very nice. He enjoys that. So that's the light to medium. Um, one of his favorites. And then I went through a Travel Twist Cream Breeze. I wouldn't recommend these actually. This didn't last very long. Um, I 
put it in my bathroom for a little bit and then I put it in my drawer and then yeah and they're expensive for what they are you could buy like a stick up up in and put it in um, your suitcase or whatnot that's what they're doing they replaced the travel tin which was actual wax or oil in a tin um, this is actually a twist product um, I could see where people would want their clothes to smell good I guess as part of traveling in that it would be worth it but to me it's expensive and then I went through two 15 watt bulbs so that was it for my Scentsy products so I thought I did rather well um, considering um, so tell me what you enjoy um, melting if you've melted any of these waxes um, these scents some of them you can't get most of them you can't get now but most of them I would highly recommend others and eh, just hit or miss so um, so really loved my cleaning products really loved my wax and then um, I did not um, warm just straight scentsy I actually went into my other collections and started melting so um, a few years back I ended up finding a vendor they're called pumpkin parcel scents and they're out of Australia so I ended up getting a um, uh, an order from them very reasonable about $20 shipping um, it comes all the way from Australia um, it's a small business out there it's run by April I really enjoyed the first round so um, so I ended up getting some melts and some like sample pots to try and not too bad for vendor wax so um, it's called pumpkin parcel so very reasonable I think um, her clamshells went up from five to six dollars Canadian and then the pots are like two and then she has sample packages she's done a lot since I bought from her last so I enjoyed gardenia um, from pumpkin parcel so I'll put the information down below the website and go check her out um, very reasonably priced to get it shipped up here to Canada like $20, $20 which is not bad um, the only thing is when you get it you have to pay the HST the taxes so that's extra on top of it that has nothing to do with the, the business but um, yeah that's the only downfall of it but 20 bucks shipping and handling considering some of the vendors coming out of the United States want 40 50 60 bucks um, shipping and handling so I don't um, tend to buy from them because of the like the shipping and handling and then you have to pay for the taxes when it gets shipped across the border so anyways another one that I went through from pumpkin parcels was Dawn Summers so um, I forget which line this was from uh, I forget what scent this was from but very very nice long-lasting wax another one that I went through from pumpkin parcel was Ginny Weasley so that was from Harry Potter very nice uh, very florally um, lasted a long time it has like lemon in it it has florals but very very nice so you can usually take one of these pots and cut it in half put it in a mini warmer or a large warmer and it does really really well another one I got through from pumpkin parcel was cocoa mango really loved this scent so I was just trying stuff from her um, seeing what I liked and didn't like and then last but not least from pumpkin parcel is frozen margarita this smelled like a frozen margarita it's so good long lasting so I can highly recommend ordering from her um, she's like a small vendor out of Australia and then last but not least was a sensational from Walmart vanilla pine so I ended up um, finishing off this this kind of reminds me of ice pine but not as strong 
So I really, really love this scent. So that was all the wax that I got through in this last little bit, I think the last couple of months. Like I said, I don't melt a lot during the spring or summertime um, frame, only because I'm always on the go. Um, whenever I feel like it, I just melt. But anyways, um, tell me what you thought of this haul. Tell me the scents um, that you have enjoyed or tried. Tell me if you've used any of the cleaning products or the dish soaps, if, how you like them, how you don't like them. I find they're a little bit pricey, but they tend to last a long time. Um, it's not like you're going to use them all in one sitting. Um, the bathroom cleaner does um, get used quite a bit and it goes down quickly. It's, I think, $13 a bottle. So if you have Hostess Rewards, always use that towards cleaning bundles and bundle and save. That's how I get my cleaning products, sometimes on flash sales or sales. So, um, yeah, $13 is a lot. Same with, uh, I think, the um, counter clean. I think it's up there right now. So anyways, um, that's it. That's my trash talk for Scentsy products and for non-Scentsy products. So I will list um, the pumpkin parcel details um, down below. I'm not gonna mention scent notes. It's either you've tried these Scentsy um, fragrances or you haven't. You can kind of just, um, I can list them, I guess. Maybe I won't. Um, you can just always come back and see or write things down. And um, that's how I um, started trying a lot of these Scentsy bars was I would watch videos of people's empties and then I would always write down ones that intrigued me. And then I always looked for them in sales or flash sales or like bring back my bars. So that's how I um, ended up enjoying most of these. So anyways, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope the rest of your week goes well. Thank you for stopping by and visiting and seeing what was in my trash and hearing my opinions about them. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Just never know what, what I'm going to be uploading next. Surprise! It's a surprise to me some days too, and I just never know what I'm going to say. So take care. Catch on the flip side. Bye for now.